Ladies and gentlemen, as you guys have seen, if you're on social media, if you've read the, th the title or the thumbnail, it's true. There is something in the works that's pretty much damn near official at this point. The AEW TV deal. Um, the details have come out. That boy Tony Khan was right at that press conference. You know what I'm saying? 90% chance something was going to come 90%. out within the next month. And it came out like a week or two later. So, Kenny, Omer, how are you guys feeling about this TV deal? I'm going to go on ahead and start with Omer. I was going to well, say. Gonna, could you please break the deal down for us first? Like, you got it? I I got you, King. So no, no. it was first reported by Puck News that the ballpark number for the TV, and I want to be clear, this is just for the TV, and within that, it's likely just going to be Dynamite, Collision, and perhaps some specials. Rampage is not included in that. The pay-per-view number does not seem to be included in this report. So $170 million per year. That is over three years with an option for a fourth year. If it was a five-year deal, this would probably land them right around a billion dollars if you factor in Max as well, which FightfulSelect.com had a report about where they said that if you factor in Max, it would likely get over the $200 million per year number, which again, over five years would be a billion-dollar deal. That's where the one bill fell line a couple of years ago came in. That was always like a benchmark that AEW and company had in mind when they were looking for a television rights deal, that $200 million per year number. So that seems to have come to fruition in a way here. And this is a big moment because in addition to all this money coming in for just this deal, you have AEW, which is likely going to be profitable in a, probably a year or two, some estimates have said, with this new deal coming into place. You also have a global media market that is going to very quickly lose all wrestling as WWE is going to Netflix globally, and that's going to be Raw, SmackDown, everything. That's going to open up some room for AEW to make some major money deals internationally, get some additional revenue as well, build roots in those different countries. There's been a lot of reaction to this. Kenny Bomb, I know you have some thoughts about this deal. Let's talk about it. I like the wording in that. With people saying SmackDown, pay-per-views, Raw going to be all globally on the Netflix. It's not because it's not in the U.S., so it's not globally. But you know what? I think... You know what? Shouts out to AEW for getting this TV deal. I mean, if they're excited about it, then that's really good. But personally, I'm not. Because I think AEW, maybe this is just me and how I look at the company. As y'all know, I really like AEW. I think they should have got a billion-dollar deal here. And Big Ohm tries to clean it up and says, if this was five years, it would be a billion-dollar deal. It's not five years. So this is not a billion-dollar deal. Uh, you said it was like $170 million per year. That's $510 million. We know AEW, they're paying their talent so much money. And I thought, you know, if they get a billion-dollar deal, that's going to help them pay more talents, take more people from WWE. Um, give us new video games. Spend more money on your video games. So $510 million, don't get me wrong. It's not, it, it's, it's not anything you want to shy away from. That's a lot of money. But I think AEW really needed to land their billion-dollar deal here. And unfortunately, they did not. So hearing about this TV deal for so long, just week after week after week, I'm like, they're going to cook. You know, they're doing some good negotiations, and they're going to come out with this billion-dollar deal. And they barely got half of that. So big <laughs> shouts out to AEW. Hopefully Tony Khan is happy with this over the next three years. Uh, they got to cook because I think with WWE pulling $5 billion for Monday Night Raw and pulling over a billion and a half for SmackDown, there's a lot of money there for wrestling. And AEW, they just didn't get it. Based on WWE's contracts, I wanted to see a billion here. We did not get that. So I'm not over the moon thrilled. But again, hopefully it inspires them to cook even more these next three years. So we now know who is behind the Jobber Nation TV Twitter account. <laughs> uh, Brian, what do you think about this? Um, Good for AEW. You know what I'm saying? I got a question, though, Omer. Is this their first renewal? Yes. Uh, well, okay. Technically, no, but like really, yes. Because remember in the, the, la the first, their first few months in 2019, that was like basically a trial run for them on TV. It was so successful that they got like a real television contract. So, so essentially, yes, this is their first real okay. renewal. Um, okay. and it's a major one. Like this, if you look at the first contract that they got, it was $44 million 
for uh, Dynamite, then uh, Russell Nomics estimate has them at about $70 million per year for Dynamite Collision and Rampage right now. So this is a monumental increase from what they've been getting. Okay. What did they get it before? I just said $70 million. $70 million is what they were getting before? Per year, yeah. They should have been getting a billion this time. They've been doing good stuff a since year? they came out, man. They've been they've been going no, crazy. A billion dollars. No, I mean for, Kenny, their, for their full Kenny, contract. Well, Kenny, one hundred. This should have been a billion dollar contract. Personally, right now, I think that this is a good deal, being how AEW has fluctuated. Now, lately, that's not to discredit their work. They've been doing some good work, but they have fluctuated greatly throughout hey, this hey, year, hey. at least. The, the arena honest. was empty on, at Raw on Monday, so who's talking about that though? Fluctuation happens. Who's I'm just talking, saying it happens. I'm it talking happens. about TV it's ratings though, bro. Fluctuation. That's just what it is, bro. So I get it. You know what I'm saying? We got to look at the global ratings though. What are they doing globally? Oh, Man. that raw glo- that that first. <laughs> if you take if you take the global ratings, ratings for AEW, they're over a million every week. So what's the problem, bro? I think uh, you got to put the word down. You got to chill, my boy. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> Brian? Though, uh, like, no, but like, seriously, Brian, this is like a this is a pretty big deal, though. For <laughs> no, like, no, this, a, is, a, this is a big, this is a this big much... deal for another wrestling company. They're probably gonna Yo, they, they, they they've already made more money than WCW. Yes, one hundred percent. So I think that this is a win, brother. They're already they're, way more money. they're already the second most uh, successful company in the history of wrestling. So yep. I think that this is a win for them, bro. And Kenny, you're just gonna have to hold off for another three years, my boy. Maybe we get that billion dollar deal that you so Maybe desperately want. Maybe we get that want. billion. I mean, that's all I want. I, it's it's like your kids. You know, if your kid get a B in school. You look at him, you like, good job. But I mean, you could have got an A. You know, you feel me? This so, is a B. This is a B level. Let me ask you a question though. Like, what what if you were negotiating, right? What would you have done for that one billion? <laughs> what would I have done? <laughs> exactly yeah. what WWE would have done. I would have said, listen, I got to find Amazon. I got to talk to whoever I need to talk to to get dynamite with these people and um, get my global rights with those people as well. I'm going to sell that to 500 million. <laughs> now, this is what Brian wanted me to say. <laughs> you take collision. <laughs> you take collision. You take uh, the pay-per-views. You take whatever else you're going to do. If you're going to make a rose to the top, just make some content, some sweet Content and you find another buyer, you sell that to him for five hundred thousand. Brother, listen, five hundred million. Excuse me, his brother. Hey, by the Look at how these right pay per views here. cook. These pay per views have been cooking for AEW. So this brother about to sell. Sure, this brother about to sell Collision for five hundred million dollars. You know listen, what? You can rebuild believe... Collision and make it like a SmackDown. Collision is failing because it's on Saturday. If you sold Collision to another network and said, "Listen, we're going to do it on Thursday. We're going to get these numbers up and we're going to cook. We're going to have Kenny Omega back running this." show we're gonna have the biggest stars we stealing the undertaker from wwe whatever you got to spend that money to get somebody over there to run collision and collision can be a big show it's just I, not right now because of the position it's slotted in let me let me quickly address the, the 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 yearly or the length of the deal because there is a reason why warner brothers discovery uh, we assume has chosen to go with like a shorter run than a what a five-year deal probably would have been I think one of the reasons, and you're going to see this across a lot of renewals uh, in the industry, like across TV, I mean, the market for TV is changing very rapidly, especially with streaming. Like the reason why this Netflix deal can range between a 10 year deal to all the way up to a 20 year deal is because we all know and Netflix is aware and WWE is aware that the future is in streaming. I think in the same way as that, WBD, they see their viewership, their cord cutting happening at a much higher rate, quite frankly, than a lot of other networks, major networks on cable. So for them, they understand too that Max is the future, but it's also they're at a place where they can't let go of traditional TV just yet because that is still where the bulk of their systems and revenue is coming from. So they're in a weird place where I think they kind of want to set themselves up three years from now in order to go all in on streaming. I genuinely think that, and I think that's something we're going to see across TV uh, over the next couple of years. Well, I don't agree with that, Big Om. I feel like you're contradicting yourself there because cable Uh-oh. is in trouble. We know our young boy Brian here just cut the cord. Are you cut the cord yet, Brian? No, I ain't cut the cord. I thought you said you was cutting the cord. I cut the cord. I cut the well, cord. Well, that mu- no, Brian oh, said you, he was cutting the cord. What you talking about, cable? 
Yeah, getting rid of cable. Oh, Cancel yeah, I'm, d- I'm done with cable, my boy. My grandmother, who sits down and watches the news all day, says she's cutting her cable. She told me that yesterday. So I think that's more of a reason to say, well, we need to lock AEW in because if cable's going away, we need to make sure we have something for people to come to cable for. I think I, you want to keep that as long as possible. And you mentioned they have Max, which is in line with Netflix. If they go away from cable, if cable just shuts down completely, now you don't have any channels, Max is your go-to. So you have AEW, you move it to Max. I think you want to lock AEW in so Amazon or somebody else doesn't grab it. That is, in a vacuum, you're not wrong. The issue, though, is that a lot of these companies, they have their revenue set up to go mainly through their cable, uh, uh, for, I forgot the name of what it's called, but their, their fee that they offer these different cable companies for carrying their the carriage fees. That's what they're called, carriage fees for different cable companies to host a TNT, a, like a USA Network, et cetera, right? That is... The, those systems, like all of their revenue streams are so ingrained in that right now that they need time to adapt. And they are adapting, but it's not going to happen overnight. And it, it's just something, it's a weird place. We are living a very weird time. Like the reason why SmackDown got a five-year deal it, like on USA is not just because WWE wants the ability in a couple of years to see what happening with Netflix and potentially move SmackDown over to there or move SmackDown to Peacock or whatever. But it's also because USA probably like really wanted SmackDown. They overpaid greatly for SmackDown. Yeah. Um, and that's not me trying to like say anything bad about WWE. That's like a genuine thing. The reason they paid so much money, more money than Fox was even willing to pay for when they knew Fox was going to get bigger ratings and was going to be able to get better uh, ad revenue is because they view SmackDown and WWE as a flagship. It's a lost leader for USA Network. So for them, they would rather have wrestling because it makes their other shows and their network and their carriage fees valued at a higher rate. Like that's why. So for it's again, it's a weird thing that all these companies are doing because some companies like Warner Brothers Discovery are trying to like slowly adapt while USA Network is like, oh, well, we got to we got to hold on to to this as long as possible. It it, like it, it is a weird dance we're seeing. And it's, again, part of this like ever evolving thing in the television uh, market. And back to Big Ohm's point, that's all I'm saying. If SmackDown could have got like $1.6 billion, USA definitely overpaid for it. I think AEW could have negotiated for somebody to overpay for them. Warner Bros. Brian, is in no, no position to overpay anybody. Them brothers is damn near bankrupt, bro. Exactly. But, you um, should have gone to talk to Amazon or something. This is probably the I best. Like- I, I've heard, though, that, this was, that there was no other competitive deal. I don't know how true that is, but it didn't sound like it was too competitive outside of Warner Bros. So, they never got the chance. AEW never got the chance to actually negotiate with anyone else. Like they only negotiated with Warner, because the exclusivity. Hey. No, the exclusivity window with Warner o- only expired at the end of July, and by then they Man, were already August first. Well I'm on the road. Like yo, Amazon. What are we talking about over here? They're already well deep into this deal. Um, the last thing I do do want to say uh, is that. I think the other thing that, you know, we, we got to also talk about a little bit is there is the AEW currently is shopping another hour of TV, at least uh, to other networks, to broadcast television. Well, a lot let's of, go ahead and talk about that in another big uh, video. Go. Big home. All right. Get we're going to talk about another like, video. Subscribe and catch that thing while you're kissing that ring.